Yeah. G'day folks, this is the Coffee Bush Kid. Again, still not in Central Vic. I'm at the seaside town of Swansea and we're near Marbles and, you know, very pretty, very bloody slippery. And oh, down there is Nathaniel Outdoor Adventures. So we've got another, another uh, detecting bout together. So the tide's out, we'll see what we can see at the sea. There's Nathaniel out there. Uh, my first decent find. And it's windy, so you have to bear with me with that. How's that for a bloody fishing weight? A sinker, as we call them. Fishing weight over here. Yeah, you know, a hell of a bloody weight to that. But we'll keep going. Oh, Viv's up in a car up there. There's Nathaniel waving. Yeah, we can do that with him. Now we did say there's a lot of history here. Uh, the port's been going for ages and ages. And look, here's a piece of old blue, blue willow that we've just found. There's old brick, there's old bottles, uh, there's everything. So it'll probably be quite an interesting time out. Now if you ever, let's see what we can find in the sand. Well this is pretty cool. Probably six inches down. I've got the six inch coil on because there's just so many targets all around here. Um, I got a good signal, I think it was a 17, 18, 19, repeatable. So you go, yep, yep, we'll dig that. And I got that. Now this was a crusty, crusty ball. But that's what we've got now. And we will zoom in, zooming in. You can see there it's got writing. It was a copper coin once and it's been eaten away and that's all that's left of it we can see how thin that is but um it's got f written on it it wouldn't surprise me if that was an old elizabeth the second penny or half penny that's just been eaten away that's a pretty neat find it's not bad, so technically my first coin, but we'll see if we can get something a bit better. Well, just down there, I've moved rocks out of the way. Hopefully the wind's not bothering you. Just down here, 25, 26 signal. I've got that. Now that's as, ugh, that's as much as I've cleaned up, but that looks silver. So, it'd be funny if it was a bloody wheat strippings, wouldn't it? But it's not. Oh, you're joking me. That's a rosy. <laughs> I've come all this way to England to find a Roosevelt one dime, an American silver. Uh, there will be a date on there somewhere. I can't, 1950 something or rather. Oh, how funny is that? Actually, let's see if we can. Oh, we'll... I can't get the last part of that. Well, maybe it's a code. That looks like 1990 something. Oh, I don't know. It does look like 1990. 1991, maybe it's not a buddy silver. But anyway, one dime from America found in Wales after I've travelled from Australia. Yep, that'll be about right. Unbelievable. Well, you see the tides out a lot. Why oh, Jesus, the tides move far over here. Down here, we've got a 10. I'm looking for gold rings and that, but there's a copper screw. So anyway, we'll take that, and if I can keep you out of the wind, I will show you something. This is where having a little six inch coil, just mooching around, 
you know, we can poke it in here. You can hear all the signals. Mm, if you can get repeatable ones. But you know, this we can just poke it in around rocks and buddy have a ball and stuff like this. It's not big swing stuff, it's just a poke prod. As I usually say, sticking your six incher in everywhere. All the nooks and crannies. And occasionally you'll get a really nice signal. As I said, I'm after Oh, we got silver, that'd be good. If I got a gold ring, that'd be that'd be quite good. I'd ex accept that. Tell you what, we'll do a live in. Oh, we're in it. The noise is a council truck. I'm hoping ah, that the wind isn't too bad for us. Now we sort of down here. It will more than likely be lead, but we will. More than likely give it a go. Let's take that one out the way and of course I'm not really prepared for um, this sort of digging and carrying on with my boots but anyway let's let's see how it goes sounds like it's actually just about out With this one, so I'll switch off so I can use two hands. No, we might not anybody have it with that one. Ugh. We'll see what we get. Yeah. Tell you what, I'm going to switch it off. Yeah, I'll switch it off and then we'll come back when we've got it out. Nathaniel, he's come back in closer. Uh, I got a 16-17 signal, and from out of that hole, we got that. I'm going to say by its crustiness, it's um. Oh no! One of their. Oh no! Ha ha ha! Ah, can I find them anywhere? Oh, that's all right actually, because that's got writing on it, and it's a very very thick button. Does that say Stevens? S T E V E N S, and it'll tell us somewhere. Ah, oh, that's a bloody surprise! Fancy me finding a button! Bloody unbelievable! Anyway, we will take that. We'll see if we can. Oh, neat! Oh, that's bloody cool, neat. N E A T H is just up the road from us. So Stevens Neath is pretty cool. We, I think we skimmed the outskirts of Neath to get down here to Swansea. So, oh, that's a bloody ripper little find. Very happy with that. And we are, oh, what am I going to say? We've got to be 300 metres off the bank there, out into the sea. I think it's starting to come in a little bit now, so we're going to wander back in. But yeah, very happy with that. Stevens of Neath. We'll keep going. Oh, a little bit all over the shop. There we are. One of their fishing weights. Steel involved as well. So we had some interesting buddy signals, but yep, wasn't too deep. Didn't have to do too much for it. We'll keep going. There we go. The things you'll film on a day at the beach. Looks like a brass shoe tack. Oh, sorry, a, a copper shoe tack. Might have been for putting copper sheathing on a boat, maybe. Who knows? Very bright when they come out the, the sand, though. 
I'll keep finding something else. Nathaniel and I are oh, just going to be heading back up there to meet up with Viv to get some lunch. I got a 1314. It's a very, very interesting projectile. Never found one like that before. Doesn't look like it's going to do you any good going through you. In fact, probably no projectile will do you good going through you, but you know what I mean. Anyway, we'll keep going. Well, Nathaniel and I are just having fun close in here. Um, he's just got what I reckon was a thrippence. And funnily enough, I had a, an 8 to 11 signal commanding my attention. And it ended up being this, this blob. Now, I've had a couple of these. I'd say that was a coin. So, um, I might just give it another gentle tap with the back end of this. Yeah, but what age it is, I don't know. I don't know whether I'll go much further than that. It's going to buddy deteriorate pretty rapidly. Oh, actually, look, we know it's a penny or a half penny, but um, yeah, that's pretty cool. It has been there. Actually, we will give it a little. I don't think we'll get anything off it, but um, certainly been down there a long time. But that's pretty cool. We'll keep going. Tell you what, the numbers are funny all over here. I was chasing a 12. And I've got that. What the hell coin gives a bloody 12? Anyway. Looking for a little bit of buddy. There's a better one. Well, it's certainly a coin. Oh, I reckon I could just see 10 down there. I think that might be a 10p. I don't know. It's good and silver ish. Who knows? Certainly had a hard life in the surf though. But we found it. Yeah, we'll keep going. Well, down there, 14. There we go, a rivet, boat fastening. Well, funny how you find so much buddy boat fastening stuff made out of copper uh, at ports. Hmm, wouldn't believe it, would you? Anyway, see what else we can find out of here. Well, there we go. This is something I don't normally do. Viv's not here, but Nathaniel is. There he is, Nathaniel Outdoor Adventure. If you haven't bloody gone to his channel, go there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he is the ten hole king. Best to go see him. But we are out here today at um, near Swansea Beach. We're playing around in the rocks. We've been out in the morning. We've had our lunch, uh, fortified with sandwiches and semi-warm pasties. And uh, this area where we're at, it's just, it's full of stuff. We've already, we've both found coins. Yeah, uh, both silver. Yeah, and I found coppery jobs. I wouldn't believe how I found a button. But, you know, there's lots and lots of stuff here. The tide is starting to come in. We're going to play around this area for a little bit longer and we will see what we find. So we'll probably catch you on the first, the next most interesting signal. Bye. Well, I haven't got very far from the, oh, from the steps that I've just come down. I've already got a copper rivet and here is a crusty. Nathaniel reckons it's either a two pence or maybe an early 10 pence. Crusty nonetheless. Let's see if we can find something a bit better. A bit better. Well, there we go. One penny. 
giving a nice buddy 25, 26 signal. You know, you're not going to leave those behind. Early Queen Elizabeth. So yeah, it's all right. It's a coin, and we'll take it. We'll keep going too. Well, a good 24, 29 signal from out of there. Gives us that. Probably oh, a 2P, which is a thing I've got to ask myself at the moment. 2P or not 2P? Well, a good 17, 18 signal from there. Gives us that. Mean old bloody projectile, that one. Two ringer. Good size, fair bit of weight. Now, the tide is coming in, and the fingers are dry. There we go, there's Nathaniel. Oh, there's my finger there, just right there. And the tide is racing in. When we started, all that water behind him was beach. So anyway, we will keep going. It's coming in on this side. This is about the highest point, and then we're just going to have to play towards the, the embankment there. But hundreds of signals all through there, so we're, we're having a good bit of fun. Okay, there's my target. That was in a muddy clump. I banged it with the the um, digger and the copper sheathing fell off it and that's what I have left. So that big silver coin that I got that gave the really, really low signals, I reckon is the core out of a two penny piece or buddy two pence bit. That's what I reckon it is. And that's what that is. Or a coin of smaller ilk. Oh, another thumping 27, 28 signal yields me another another 2p. A good sized big coin. Not worth much and you can't spend them when they're like this. Anyway, we'll see what else is hiding for us. Hopefully some silver. Well, the tide's chasing us in. There's Nathaniel. He's staying close to the uh, to the rocks like I am. 26 27 signal you can't you can't not dig them there we go there's another e anyway we'll take that they're still good to find anything in the ground's good to find anyway we'll keep going i've got a few more of these this is probably going to be the last one you'll see but there you can see the two better but um, yeah, just in this little area, I don't know, a couple of metres squarish, I've, I've pulled out about four of these buggers. Certainly give a good signal. Anyway, right, we'll keep going before the tide gets us. There we go, out of that hole. We got that coin. Five pence. Five P, get in. <laughs> anyway. We will keep going. As too is the tide. We're trying to stop, like, you know, we're trying to get to the stairs there, and both of us are just walking along here. And <coughs> two signals. Well, there's one 2P, and <coughs> let's take that one too, shall we? <laughs> Only funny. Anyway, this will all have to come to an end very soon. Alrighty, folks, we're, we're glinting into the sunlight here because it's actually nice now. We're finished for the day. We've got lots of coin. You got lucky and got a silver. Yeah. Um, the sun is shining. He's filming me, filming us, filming... Well, you know how it all goes. We've got the beautiful sea in the back here in Swansea Bay whatever bay it's called and it's all coming in and we've decided that no nah, enough's enough now we're all to go home and do stuff return to the real world <sighs> anyway it's 
been great being out with you, mate. It really has. All the, uh, on all those occasions that we've yep. detected together. Uh, always been good fun, good laughs. So, uh, friendship, good thing. Absolutely. And also, keep in mind, always good to fill in some of your day detecting, but remember to fill in all your holes when you're finished. And we'll catch you next time. Changed to another location, or we've changed to another location. The wind is shocking. Look at the size of this beach, and it keeps going round that way where it's really, really windy. And so I'm just doing the sort of the tight, liney part. And I got a seven, 16, 17, 18. There we go. Now I think it is just a bit of bling, because look at the diamonds in that. Man, I'm going to be set for life. But, on a big beach, I did get that. I'm pretty pleased. <laughs> anyway, we will keep going. If you're wondering, 21-22 signal. And that was a good, oh, probably 8 inches down or so, maybe 10. Big piece of lead. I got a good solid 16, didn't seem to be too far down. Look at that. 20p. 20p, I can use that in a bloody toilet now. It's such a relief. That's great, we'll keep going. All right, there's where I got my 20p. That another E. Uh, yep, there it says 20 right there. Cool, we'll take that all day. Keep going. All right, now there, okay, just over there is where I got my two 20 P's. Yeah, look at that, I got a 10. That's 50 pence I've found in, in a minute. I'm really laughing. Well, the tide's coming in and the wind's blowing a holy and just down here with a 21-22 signal. I'll take that. Thank you very much. There's a pound. One pound. That's a current spendable. Hey, tide. So there we go. That's my first one. Bloody wrap with that. <laughs> well, out of that hole of the 13-14 came this interesting little curio. I'm not half sure it's not a cuff link. It's got bits of copper-ishness about it. Don't know. I may have also found what was the centre of a one or a half penny, the silver corey thing. Or it could just be a very deteriorated silver Roman coin. Who knows? Anyway, I'll put that in the pocket and We'll keep going. And here is one of the old round pounds, but it's still got its silver on. They're a nice looking coin, those. Look at how thick the little... Oh, they've got writing on them. Look at how thick the little buggers are. That's pretty cool. Yep, I'll put that one in the pouch too. I'm playing around in a rock pool here, and I've got a massive buddy long sinker. And... I also pulled out another 10p. That's not too bad. Let's see what else is left on the beach for us. Well, I tell you what, that bloody wind hasn't eased off. One pound. Over to this hole here. Look at that. Oops. That is a two pound coin. That's bloody unbelievable. <laughs> 
That's a ripper. It's a hell of a lot bigger than our bloody two dollar coins. But anyway, I will take that. And if there's any more, I'd like to take them as well. This part's just a little bonusy bit, just to think outside the square. Like, it's windy as all hell. Here I am, car park. You can see all the car parks empty. It's all gravel. It's all gravel. And if you set your detector to, I think I've only got mine set to 15 uh, for depth, because I don't want to dig deep, do I? Because I'm just happy picking up all the coin that is sitting on top. So there's another 20p. I've got about a pound out of this now. This is bloody brilliant, and there's no digging involved. Because you can tell when you run over it, because you've got that blip, 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 when it goes over the coil. So, just as an out, you know, outside the boxy thought, detect a car park that's usually always full, and you'll, uh, you'll probably pick up some coin for free. Bloody brilliant. Anyway, that's your bonusy bit. Keep in mind, always good to fill in some of your day detecting, but remember to fill in all your holes when you're finished. And we'll catch you next time, more than likely, back in Australia.